Uh, so as you guys can tell, this area over here is a total cluster and we need to get this organized because this baby is due in six weeks. Baby's first camera. I can't get it to focus. It can be just Weird. like dad. So we are actually gonna use just the upper bunk for storage. Three hours later, we now have a stroller. <laughs> Some assembly required. Did you confess about what we're about to show our viewers? What do you mean? We have too much stuff? <laughs> is that what you're looking is that the answer you're looking for? Yes. I have a confession, guys. We are not organized. In this video, we are gonna be uh, trying to get organized. And the funny thing is, is there's a lot of stuff in here that just got thrown in here and it's coming out and we're actually not gonna like live with it. Yeah. But we also have to show them all of the stuff that we are adding to all this pile. Of, yes, all of the things that people have been sending us off of the registry. Yeah. Thank you so much if you've sent us something. We really appreciate it. The, yeah, this has been a catch-all area for the five months that we've been living in this RV. And we really got to get it organized. Jesse did this project where he cut back the top bunk, which we can show you a little bit more of later. So that we'll have a space that we can actually like lay the baby down without having to bend underneath or anything like that so fingers crossed we get ourselves set up and ready for this little kid starting by pulling out stuff we know that is like not ours first of all mm -hmm. and secondly we know it's not gonna come with us so this is like a tote of stuff that is for melissa's friend that she borrowed for some reason bachelorette party bachelorette party yep. needs to be returned to her so that's going out that's a big item that takes a lot of space totes like this might be handy though so we might want to consider getting some of those yes so this is my my suit we just went to a wedding I like to look real snazzy. I'm kidding, my wife wants me to look real snazzy. We don't uh, have any weddings planned for a while, so this is gonna go in our storage unit. This is a really old Arctic <laughs> cup that we put an Adventure Endeavor sticker on, and we have too many cups now, so. Yeah, we have a lot of, of cups, and we only have so much space, so my mother is gonna get this nice Adventure Endeavor. Cup. Unless one of you wants it. Unless one of you want it. That's really kind of gross. Little, it's it's definitely beat up. I'm not gonna lie. But if somebody really wants it, it's literally it. a mug with a sticker on it, no lid included. It's Send us rough. a message and we'll we'll <laughs> we'll mail it to you. We'll mail you this janky secondhand cup if you want it. Dear, what about this? That's my suitcase. Definitely need to get rid of that. This is Melissa's suitcase. Um, From she used it when she went to Hawaii, and. We do have smaller suitcases, kind of like duffels that are under our, our bed, in our bedroom, that we have if we're doing smaller weekend trips or like a week trip. But this was because she was gone for quite a while and we just can't, we can't have this. Like I, I would, I would say maybe if we didn't have the baby and we were doing like more traveling, like maybe we'd keep it. Um, but right yeah. now. That's gonna go back in storage. So these bunk beds are really wide and they have a lot of space. And that's something we really liked about this setup. If you remember, I modified this. This is the top bunk. It basically pulls out, drops into place. But since we only have one kid, our thought for the time being is taking this upper mattress and just literally stacking it so it's on top of the lower mattress. And then we have a crib or a bassinet chingadera that's gonna go right there. So we're gonna try that, see how that feels, see how that works. And if anyone ever comes over, we can always just take the bassinet out and like put it on the ground or whatever you do with kids bassinets and uh, someone can sleep in here but I don't really foresee that happening 
uh, in the near future. So we are actually going to use just the upper bunk for storage. So we'll probably put like some totes and bins up there. And then we pulled the mattress from the top bunk down to the bottom bunk just to create some extra cushion, some extra height for changing. And potentially one of us might actually sleep in here for the first couple months. I don't know. We're going to see how that goes. <laughs> I think she means me. Probably. I mean, it could be me sleeping here with the baby. Yeah, because for like nighttime feedings and stuff, one of us should be sleeping and that person should be Jesse. What the hell are you talking about? Because that way he can be well rested during the day and make me food and get me water and things like that <laughs> when I have a baby attached to me right here. Right in this area. Items that need to go where they belong. So obviously car seat and bases. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put a base in the Jeep. We're gonna put a car seat and a base in the Ram. Mm -hmm. That is actually our bassinet, which I think we're gonna put this way, but also we might try it in the bedroom. We're still undecided on that, mm -hmm. but we know that it fits there nicely. And then the top, like she said, is gonna be for totes and all that. So we're gonna get rid of some of this mess because this is a complete disaster besides the little Zamboni over there. We're gonna get this organized and then we're gonna start bringing in all of the stuff that is way too much stuff that the is registry. crazy from the registry. Are we keeping the ladder or are we putting it in storage for now? Uh, we could probably put it in storage. We mentioned a few videos ago we are staying in Jesse's parents' yard until after the baby comes. Um, this is where, well, we're not giving birth here. We're giving birth in the hospital in our hometown. And they've been collecting packages for us. This is all of our stuff. Damn! And we need to go through it, and there are a few duplicate items, and there are a few items that it turns out we don't think are actually gonna work for our space. So yes. we might have to return those. This is my nightmare, y'all. We live in a travel trailer. There's a lot of stuff here. There's just a lot of stuff here. So There's a lot of stuff. we're going to kind of talk about a few of the things right now, go through some of it. And obviously it's in boxes, so it'll break down a lot better. Mm -hmm. But let's just pause for a moment. Show the viewers my parents' weird house with all these tools on the wall and stuff. It's totally safe, right? Yeah. By the way, when I was growing up, there was just stuff on the walls everywhere. And I was a child and I could just decapitate myself. <laughs> just like saws and stuff. All right. Here's one thing. I personally don't think we're going to use this. My whole thing is, is that we're going to have to store it, which I think it would go in our back storage bay under those bunk beds. And we mostly boondock. So, I mean, maybe apparently it's got long travel. It's got King suspension. I see. I thought of this. This was a well thought out decision to put that on our registry. So, so your thought is that it's got big off-road tires. Mm -hmm. It'll work off-road on dirt trails. Exactly. And yes, in theory, you could carry the baby on you all the time. We have various different baby carriers. I don't think that we're going to always want the baby to be attached to us. I think that we're going to want to have more bonding, options. babe. It's more bonding. You're going to be so attached to us. It might be a problem. So my thought was that yes we are gonna need a stroller uh especially for when we go to like town for like a full day to hang out or whatever but our morning walks are normally like 30 to 45 minutes and we do a lot of them i just don't see getting the stroller out happening very often especially because she's gonna make me get the stroller out very often and i just think like oh just throw the baby in the sling and just go for a walk i just feel like it's gonna be easier but i do feel like we should have a stroller so, I don't know. Jury's out on the stroller. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. And we have a backpack carrier, but I think the kid will be too small for that for a while. Yeah. Okay, so, new dad here attempting to fold up a stroller. Shade, Jinganera. Handle, Jinganera. Uh, I think then you do this wheel. Well, wheel, be gone, wheel. And then I think you do this. Maybe the wheels go last. I think the wheel goes last, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it's kind of in the way. <laughs> we need to make room for the stroller. Uh, along with the Green Mountain Grill, we have the pizza oven here um, that takes up a good amount of space. 
I do have another storage, uh, under storage thing coming. We do bring our pee jug for our composting toilet. I'll probably put that in storage. We just have a lot of things that we've had because we have the room, but now we're gonna have to really slim it down and uh, get organized. Kind of fits, it's quite massive. I don't know, we, I guess we'll see how this works in the long run. Uh, we're gonna go back to this bay for sure, and we're gonna organize it more, but this is it for now. How's it going over here building the baby's closet rack? This is terrible, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> it's gonna be, I would say 18 years of this, but it's probably gonna be a lifetime. Probably longer than 18 years. 18 years minimum. <laughs> They're out of the trailer by 18. Okay. Get and their own, they get their own dang trailer. They get their own van by then. Our kids will be van lifers. Will they? I don't know. They'll probably hate traveling by then. So. Yeah, they'll probably be so sick of it. I'll be like, I just want to stop moving. Actually. I just want to watch TV in my apartment. Okay, so we, we got this wire rack, Chingadera, because we felt like this space was tough. There was a bar in there that we just put down here for now. But our, our thought is like just trying to get organized. So we're starting down low. So this is like newborn stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Then this is like zero to three months. And then this is... Three to six. Three to six. And this is like... Six to nine. And then we just have 12 month updates. And then 12 months. We don't have any nine to 12 month clothes right now. Um, and then we're going to do... Uh, drawer for toys mm -hmm. and then we thought this would be convenient this is going to be like our changing drawer oh, little diapers look how little they are they're so small oh my god yeah i don't even know how to work this thing we'll figure it out real fast this is weird it's so small so we got diapers there and then we figure we'll put wet wipes here or all that whatever. stuff should fit in there no. we actually not gonna lie these are totally puppy pads but we figured we could use them until they're gone because we, somebody gave us these when Blue was having a lot of uh, issues, and he's kind of better now. So that's there. Um, and then we still have two drawers, maybe like books. I don't know. We This is what we're trying to figure out. Maybe a swaddle drawer that's, for all the swaddles and the yeah, we have, things. And, we have this thing that I was thinking we could put somewhere, and that could be for books. Yeah, maybe we could hang it. Hang it right there. There's just like a lot of stuff that we're just trying to get organized. This is probably gonna be an ongoing process. All right, so now we actually have two options. This is a mobile bassinet that our friends Chris and Aaron got us. We really like it because it's super compact and it has this carrying bag. Uh, or we have this one up here that is a little larger, but what we like about this one is it lays completely flat and you just open it up and bam, right there. Baby crib, changing area, baby crib changing area easy it's got a bug net so if we want to bring it outside it goes on the top here and then if we don't want it we can just store it very easily can something like this any of you parents out there have any concerns or comments let us know because we don't know what we're doing all right so we got our baby plate and bowl way back in the corner we got the bottle warmer back in there uh, let's just put a couple things back in here for right now. Just trying to get organized bit by bit. Hmm. What about my trash can? Everybody oh, yes. Was so silly. This trash can, it's not going to live right here most likely. We're probably going to pull it out off of the side here. So it'll probably live like right there. And then these drawers still open all the way, which is great. And the idea was one side for poopy clothes and one side for diapers so seems legit good job with the measurements jess uh time will tell <laughs> but yeah just getting things settled in a little bit and i feel like we're making good progress So our great friends and family got us a bunch of stuff that I don't really know what it is. It's a free to baby kit that basically contains like one of the snot sucker things with the filters so you don't accidentally Gross. suck their snot into your own mouth. Mm -hmm. 